So the human body has the Bible encoded in it, or the Bible truth, I guess you might say. You're actually a walking Bible and don't even know it. I'll give a few examples. The whole, bo the whole body is encoded, though. Every, every organ, every joint, every tendon, every sinew, everything. First thing that comes to my mind is uh, synapses. S synapse goes back to synagogue, right? Your body's a temple. Synapses go back to synagogue. The other thing that comes to my mind is tooth. Tooth goes back to truth. So when you chew the food, chew the cud, you regurgitate. A cow, a, ga a cow will regurgitate its food, right? Humans shouldn't do that, <laughs> but it does happen sometimes. Like you feel like you're going to throw up or something, you regurgitate. But anyway, a cow will regurgitate and chew the cud. When you chew your food, so you chew your food, you're cut, what are you doing? You're cut it into parts. You you got your, uh, your molar means to crush, to break into pieces. Your incisor means to cut. The, your, your tooth is called an incisor. <clears throat> the bicuspis means to between two ridges, right? So you got those three teeth right there that is telling you some deep truth. Cut to crush, to break into parts. Between two ridges. What's between two ridges? A watershed moment. A watershed moment is between two ridges, right? And so, just Google watershed and study what watershed is. So uh, when you cut, when you when you crush and break things down into parts, down into its uh, constituent parts, what's happening? The Bible says to uh, rightly divide the word of truth, to break it into parts. That's why it's called fragments. So your molar means to break something into fragments. So when you read the Bible, you're reading fragments. Yeah, it's in one book right now, but you, they found them in fragments, right? So the fragments gave you pieces of the pie, and then you put all the pieces of the pie together, and you get the whole truth. Your organs are like when you go to church and they're playing an the organ. They reverberate. They pretty much keep you alive. Your liver is to live, right? Your pancreas is pan create us. Okay. So the woman's hair. So she has her hair flowing out, out of her head. Now the hair is dead skin. It's dead, right? And so the hair flows out from the head. Now in your flesh, joint, so air is, hair is joint, airs, airs. So when she goes to uh, get married, she has a dress behind her, flowing behind her, the flow. It's a, uh, there's a, there's a word for it. Uh, the train of her, it's like a train following after. So you're, the, the hair coming off your head is a is a is a is a following after joint airs it flows out from the head so the joint airs flow out from Jesus he's a you're a per son per the son right so you're a character in a word right in the word Jesus is the word so you're a character a subset of the word and so these are just things that come to my mind, and so you're, you got a left side and a right side. You got a, a mirror image, right? Symmetry. Uh, your 
fingernails, the nail, the nail print, the fingernail. The lunula on your fingernail goes back to lunar, goes back to mints, goes back to blood. So your finger actually has the the, the blood of his cross, pre the nail prints on where he went to the cross actually encoded in your fingernail and your finger. So your fingers are ten digits, right? Digits. I'm just going, I'm going down the highway, so these things are just coming to my mind as I'm driving. Ten digits. Ten is tent. Your body's a tent. Ten fingers, ten toes, tent. Your torso, your body, the body of Christ, a tree trunk. So the, the, the tree trunk represents the doctrines of the faith. So then you have branch circuits. So on a tree you have branch branches, right? So your arms or your limbs, why do they call a tree limb and the body? Your body has limbs, right? Those are the branch circuits. They branch out. Uh, your elbow has a, it's, the bow is bent. God's bow is bent, right? Um, when you bend, you're, you have bends in your, your body. Bend, it goes back to verse, turn and verse. Um, when you walk, you walk the path, right? And when you're when you're walking, your legs are crossing. So you cross your arms, cross your legs, cross your heart. It crosses your mind. Encoded in your body is the cross. You walk across the street. You cross with your neighbor. You're cross-eyed. The cross is encoded. In everything, I got a truck in front of me. It's got these a bunch of ladders, and it looks like they didn't they slid or something. I hope this ladder don't fly off and hit my car. That's crazy. That's wild. I don't know if he's checked it, but anyway. The Bible's encoded in your body. The human body preaches the word, preaches the cross, preaches the verses, preaches the flow. Oh yeah. So the man has the seed, the seed of the word. The woman has the womb, the womb of your heart. The, uh, the woman's a receiver, the man's the give. He gives, she receives. Give and receive, the reciprocal part of the universe, the yin and the yang. The woman represents Eve evening the man represents day adam a d a m so you got a m and p m evening is p m p m s so you got day and night right there so christ the head of the body the woman the man's the head of his home uh what else uh, just stuff's coming to my mind i'm just trying to stuff i thought about over the years last 10 years the two make a copy the two come together make a copy right so when you when you come back to God through Jesus you become sons of God a copy a copy of Jesus you got to the earnest of the spirit the Holy Spirit is an exact copy of Jesus but you have the earnest spirit you're under the you're walking around under a blue sky. Blue letter sky means you're in the flesh, too. So the, the truth is encoded in the human body. When you chew your food, it becomes a part of you, right? So when you eat and drink and saturate your mind with the word of truth, it becomes a part of you. When you study and meditate the word of God, it becomes a part of you. Your character changes. You're being changed. The new tree ends. The new tree in tea you become a new tree as you eat so you you are what you eat right the, the bible is clear that once you eat the word you become the word you start to transform into a copy you eat and drink of the word 
and you start to think like the Word, you start to meditate and think on the Word and not on the world's wisdom. What else? Let's see. The food has to flow through you. The blood flows through you. So the flow, um, everything's flowing. Inside your body, the blood is blue. Out, when you get cut, it's red, right? There's your red versus your blue. But inside the body, it's in the flesh. It's in your flesh body. The letter... The law is for the flesh creatures. The law was given for the flesh to, to bring you to Christ. And you get pierced by the word, the letter of the law killeth that pierces you. Dr. Law sends you to Dr. Grace. And if you go to the doctor, sometimes they gotta cut you. Or if you get cut, you gotta go to the doctor. The cutting, you gotta cut your fingernails. You gotta brush your teeth. You gotta cleanse your body. The Word of God is cleansing you. So the washing of the water, you got to use water to cleanse your body, right? The washing of the water of the Word. For They can't escape the, the truth that's hidden and encoded everywhere. It's even encoded in your body. The synapse is, is, is powerful because it tells you that your, your, your mind... When the, when, all, when, the, when the temple's right, all the synapses start to click and fire. And you get a, a revelation, a truth. Just the fact that you're moving, modus operandi, the E, cut, the Holy Spirit's moving you. He is spirit. That's just a few things. There's probably a thousand more things.